results are from building materials. Retail or cash bill today show a 6% rise in revenue to 5.4 billion rand. As for the year to June, headline earnings per share, though, well, headline earnings rather fell 8%. Joining with more on the numbers and the environment is CEO Pat Goldrick. Uh, Pat, thanks very much for coming in today. Okay. You came in six months ago and your headline earnings at that stage were down 27%. So it does imply that you had a significantly better second half than first half of the year. Yeah, we planned that, and um, the revenue of the top line was, was quite tough because we had an exceptionally good uh, second half last year. But then we had a problem with the price of steel. We bought steel at a high price. The market fell to pieces because Arctic Metal decided to drop the price. We depreciated the value which has affected our profits last year. But we also went out to make sure we grow profitable market share in the, from January onwards, and we concentrated on the core values of always being in stock with the right product and the right price. And we've seen a, a good jump of 27% growth in operating profits for the second half, which, uh, which we were quite pleased with. And has that continued through into the, the first nine weeks of the current year? Because, of course, uh, the environment does still remain pretty tough for consumers, aren't there? There's two things you, you measure. and you, One is the customer transactions. The customer transactions uh, are, are continue to grow, which is good news. The average basket of the customer is not, is not growing as fast as we would like it. Uh, but our sales revenue in the first nine weeks are up about 5%, so we're satisfied particularly because there's zero, uh, there's zero inflation. And if anything, in some cases, there may be deflation in some certain products out there, but overall, there's, there's zero, uh, zero there. We've maintained our margins, um, and we intend to do that. So going forward, uh, to answer your question, we believe that we're well set to have a solid uh, first, uh, first half to this financial year. Yes, of course, yeah, your gross profit margin up from 21 to 21.5%. Uh, I mean, what, what sort of improvement would you expect going forward from here? Well, our margin for the last two or three years, with the exception of the, of the previous half we just talked for the first half of this year, has always been around 21, uh, about 21 and a half. So let's put it this way, we're back to normal margins. We haven't lost out or, or, or started selling stock as uh, our gro- are going for um, unprofitable market share. We've always set out that our model would be to grow market share, to grow profitably, to be responsible in our approach, to maintain our people, etc. And that was our approach. So we're quite happy with 21.5. If you go past that, you could be getting greedy. You've got a consumer out there. We're in a product which is, uh, is required in, in bulk um, to buy to build a home. And if you start adding on margins, you're screwing the wrong customer. Well, Pat, just remind us who, who your typical customer is and, and perhaps how they might have been affected by the downturn we've seen over the past couple of years, as well as the, the, the rising unemployment rate. Mm-hmm. Um, we've serviced about 13 million uh, customers per, uh, per transactions per year. And th- as we said, there was a 5% growth over the last 12 months. Our customers, anybody from the Bucky Builder, who ma- uh, makes a living from um, doing work, and he works 364 days a year, employing about four or five people. And he is what we call a very important customer. They're all important to us, but he's the person who actually makes a living by being in that, and he's very important to us. The others, of course, are members of the public. We trade seven days a week. We open at seven in the morning. We close at six and not on the weekends we trade. And we're there for everybody. And so anybody wanting building materials, cash bill is in a position on quality, on price, and location to serve them. That is our model. So we serve farmers, we serve government contracts, we serve, serve anybody who wants building materials. I should imagine some of those small businessmen might be borrowing money from the bank to, to fund, the, the fund the building supplies. We've had interest rates coming down uh, this month by another half percentage point. Do you think this is going to make uh, your customer a little bit more comfortable? Um, I think the interest rate is going to help um, in general, especially to, to the manufacturers, who, if they're borrowing money for working capital or anything else, it's good. But I think the biggest thing with the lot is that it's, it's solid. We've seen uh, over the last few years big growth in the um, new houses. That slowed down. It, it wasn't sustainable with the price of land and the price of labour. It's good news now to see a strong rent, uh, contrary to a lot of things, because that makes sure that the price of coal, which is used for manufacturing, uh, brings down the cost, the cost of fuel for distribution, etc. And it gets our manufacturers here to, to concentrate on being ready and fit to serve the local market and currently there isn't an export market so it's no good for them fishing in that sea so what they've got to do is serve locally and when that market picks up abroad Europe and the UK wherever they want to export to they can do it but there's lots of opportunity to grow in the in the current market the interest rate reduction it always helps somebody yeah also, it doesn't help because we've lots of cash and we don't get much interest. Of course, yeah. Um, now, you've, you've been giving uh, some of this cash out, so you've got raised your final dividend by 23%, so 127 cents. I'm sure shareholders are going to be happy about that. And separately, you've also announced that your empowerment trust is paying out 50 million uh, rand to beneficiaries, and that's basically your employees, isn't it? Yes. We developed the empower- em- 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 empowerment trust back in 2005. Since 2005, we've paid the employees out 25 million in dividends based on twice year, uh, yearly payments. And now
now what we have done, that sh um, um, the share price when we set up the Empowerment Trust was something around 29, 90 or th 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 under 30 rand. It's now grown to around 72 rand. I'm not sure what the price well, is. Was it 74.50 at the moment? So it's up 2.3 percent today. So That's even better news for them. And so what we have decided to do is to take 50 million of of that capital growth and distribute it to our staff. And that's good news for them. And it's, gr it's great that we're being able to distribute wealth. Are you opening new stores in an environment like this? Yes, we, in the last two years we've opened up 22 stores. In the last 12 months we've opened up eight of them. We've opened up one this year so far, and we'll probably op end up opening eight or nine by the end of this uh, by the end of the financial year. But it's not all about growing the number of stores. It's also investing in the current number of stores we've got. We've got 190 stores. We refurbish every store every five years, and so far in the, uh, we've in this few weeks that we've done we've done about four, and we will continue to do that. And cash gets used for that. It's an investment actually in the community where you trade to make sure your store is fit for purpose constantly. And um, operating expenses, they were up by 13%, uh, 8% um, uh, for existing stores, 5% for new stores. Um, do you see yourself bringing those operating expenses down going forward? What's been pushing it up? Is it wage costs essentially? Um, y when you're a retailer, you've got fixed, a lot of your fixed costs is in your people and you have to look after your people. And we gave our people last year a 13% increase for the, uh, the general staff. The management got a 7 or 8% increase in the executives. So our average was about 11. So th th that immediately hits, hit, hits it, but that's an investment for the future. Then on your stores, you've got an escalation in rents per annum of a 7 or 8, 6 or 7 percent. percent. It, it varies. And each of those things drive up your cost, it's, it's fixed cost. And we have no intention of bringing those costs down but because it's not wasted. These are fixed costs it's in the business and it's um, depreciation, etc., or in there as well. So as a percentage is higher, it's, it's, it's risen this year because our revenue top line hasn't. But we are investing for the future. We've got great people. We're um, um, making sure that the reward and salaries and the distribution of the share, the share trust and now the, um, the actual capital. And that cost is an investment. Uh, it's, it's not an issue in the business model. Um, it'd be nicer to grow the top line. But the main thing is if you grow your top line and you grow it profitably, then it's sustainable. So you would expect that to normalise as your revenue starts to catch up a bit? Oh yes. Um, we, we, we won't see that step up in a percentage wise again, no. Our revenue, our re our revenue will exceed, exceed our expenses growth. Well, I hope you can tell us that again in six months. Pat, thanks very much for coming in today. Pleasure, Stephen.